I started off by doing a degree at Hereford Art College in design crafts. That was all based on craftsmanship and developing your own style of working. After that, I went on to do a master's at London College of Fashion in fashion artefact because I realised on my degree that I wanted to do fashion accessories. After university, I got a job in a leather goods factory as a product developer and then I went on to set up my own label. It's all about precision and making sure everything is really square and symmetrical. That's the most important starting place. Probably the most labour intensive part of making a bag is um, finishing the edges. I burnish all of the edges, but it's really important because once that's done, then the edges are sealed and they should last for the lifetime of the bag. Leather is amazing because it's a material that can't be replicated, so you can do things in leather that you can't do in any other material. Sometimes it can be like a fabric and sometimes it can be as sturdy as wood so there's a lot of variance between different types of leather and what you can do with it. All of the leather which I use is English bridal leather so it is all a byproduct of the meat industry in England. It's all hand finished by a company called Metropolitan Leather in Northampton. So they dye each skin by hand. I'll choose a colour and then they'll dye it to match. That is a craft in itself to be able to dye the leather to that quality. Because it's bridal leather, that means that it's been ingrained with tallow, like a wax, and that wax will keep coming to the surface of the leather as you use it. If something's handmade, then it's going to be the same person that's made it from start to finish. And they're obviously going to put a lot more effort and thought and care into what they're making. Whereas when something's made on a production line, someone's just doing one little piece of the job, they don't see the whole picture. Hopefully the quality of my work will be a really high standard because I'm making the whole product from start to finish. During my masters, I developed a concept behind the brand, which was to draw the public's attention to craftsmanship. So I read a book called The Craftsman by Richard Sennett. In it, he proposes that craftspeople become interested in materials that they can change. And there's three methods of change, metamorphosis, anthropomorphism, and presence. My aim is to apply all of those three things to each design and in doing so, hopefully draw in the public's attention to craftsmanship. Anthropomorphism, that's done through making everything by hand. So the idea is that making everything personally, I am applying some of my human qualities into the object like virtue and honesty. So all of the time and effort that I put into it will make the object have those qualities and presence is applied through the company branding, so the Williams British Handmade plaques. Because I've put my name on it, I really care how good it is, because every piece that I've made is representing me, so obviously I want it to be the best that it can be.